hey friends welcome to chemistry lover and here uh, today i'm going to solve this question for you so you can see this is the question given uh, we have this particular compound and it is uh, heated with temperature 200 degree centigrade temperature so you have to predict what will be the correct answer four options are given here now um, this question is very interesting you will see so uh, only the Mm, temperature is given temperature condition is given there is no uh, reactant and in the mm, starting material also you can see there is no such functional group which can react right so this suggests only one thing that is uh, it will undergo some pericyclic reaction now uh, if you look at the framework of the starting material uh, it is looking like this so this is the framework and uh, by looking at this framework you can easily identify uh, this is the framework for electrocyclic ring opening reaction right so this is the framework for electrocyclic ring opening reaction Th you can easily identify that so keeping that in our mind let us see what we can do with this okay so I can write down the starting material again here so this is our uh, starting material let me see it once okay so here we have one double bond here we have another double bond here we have some phenyl group and here we have CH to pH group so this is our starting material okay now what will happen next so if it undergoes some electrocyclic ring opening reaction what you will get you will get a product uh like this so this is the product you want to get here you have this ph group here you have this ph group so this is the product you will get after the electrocyclic ring um, opening reaction now uh, in the next reaction what will happen so again there is no reactant but only uh, temperature is given so another fold of pericyclic reaction can take place now it can simply reverse back to the starting material by electrocyclic ring closing reaction or or what else it can do uh, it can do a 17 hydride shift this hydrogen can shift over here this is 17 shift this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is basically 17 shift and this one seven shift will actually give you a compound like this okay so here you have this pH so this you will get right so this is one seven shift again uh, this compound is also starting material for a pericyclic reaction what is that that is basically the electrocyclic ring closing reaction how that will happen so if i just draw it in uh, another way how it will look like so you can see this is how it will look like so let me erase this thing yeah so this is how it will look like so you have double bond you have this ph and this methyl group over here you have this double bond and here you have this nitrogen and sorry um, actually this will be like the nitrogen will be here and here you have this pH group right so now this particular part can undergo the electrocyclic ring closing reaction and that will basically give you uh, this product so here you have nitrogen uh, here you have double bond here you have another another double bond here you have pH here you have methyl and here you have another ph so this is the product you will get now let us see what were the options given so you can see uh yeah so you can see these are the options given this one this one this one and this one and if you look carefully our uh, product this is our product so this is our product and this actually matches with the uh, which, which option with option A right so it matches with option A 
so this option a will be the correct answer right so you can see how we have to solve this problem uh, if you have any doubt or any query regarding this you can ask me in the comment section and uh, thank you for watching if you want video on any particular topic let me know and that's all